Hey everybody, it's Emery again with Ultra Sabers, and I'm here today to show you guys how to install the Obsidian Launcher for use with your Obsidian powered lightsaber. Now, you just got your saber in the mail, taking it out for a couple rounds, play with it. Now, you want to go ahead and change the sound fonts or change the sensor settings. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get started with that today. First thing you need to do is find yourself a PC. The Obsidian Launcher is currently not compatible with Macs, so we're still working on that for all you Mac users, but for now, just find a PC and open up an internet browser and head to Saberform. Once you're on Saberform, scroll down to the Obsidian Order, home of all things Obsidian, and right here, sticky at the top, you'll see it says new Obsidian launcher available. Right now we're installing version 2.2.2. .2. And this is an upgrade over our old version. With 2.2.2, .2, you can now change the speed of your flash on clash. So if you want it to pause for longer, you can increase the time. If you want it to be even faster than what it is, you can decrease the time. That is one of the new features with 2.2.2 .2 is you can change the speed of your flash on clash if you have one of our new 2.1 soundboards. Now, let's go ahead and click download and download the new launcher. Now you wanna save the file, don't open it, just click save file, hit okay. I'll take a couple seconds to download, open the folder. I'm going to go ahead and take what we just downloaded and move it to the desktop. Now this packet here is version 2.2.2, .2, what we just downloaded off Saberform. But in order to open this, you're going to need either WinRare or WinZip, something that opens zip files. Um, so just go ahead and get that if you don't already have it, but most people would already have, have something that can open up zip files. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what I would suggest doing is make a new folder to move all the contents into. So new folder and then move all the contents of that packet into a new folder. Now in the folder, we'll have the LSU converter, this packet with all the install files and this readme file. Now, I highly suggest doing exactly what this file says and read it before you do anything with your Obsidian Launcher. There's a lot of good information in here on how to use it, what it should say when you're using it, what the icons mean, how to install the sound, sound fonts, uh, just everything. Just go ahead and give this a good look over and I'll also reference it while you're using the launcher. There's a lot of good information in here and it'll answer a lot of your questions while using the Obsidian Launcher. But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and install it. So all you need to do is click on Setup. I'm gonna run this. Let's click OK on the first screen. And then right here, you don't need to change the directory or anything. Just to begin the installation, click the button below. And that's what we're gonna do. Click Continue. Now. Here's where it gets scary for a lot of people. For all of these error messages, just click ignore. And trust me, your, your launcher will still install just fine. All this is telling you that you have duplicate files that the launcher is trying to install. So just ignore these. Just click yes, because you want to ignore it and just ignore all of these errors. And here it's asking, do you want to keep your newer file or replace it with an older one? Obviously, we're going to want to keep the newer file, so just click yes, ignore, and Ultra Saber's Obsidian Launcher setup is completed successfully. That's good news. Now, I'm sure all of those error messages are pretty scary, but don't worry. You get this message, just means you've done everything correct and your Obsidian Launcher has been installed successfully. Now, for the second part of this, I know a lot of people want to use the LSU converter to create their own sound fonts. And what happens is a lot of people try to just run this and they get an error message. Runtime error 53. This is all over the forms. Well, 
to fix this, all you need to do is move the Obsidian, the LSU converter, I'm sorry, over to the folder where the Obsidian launcher is. So just go here, properties, open file location. Now this is where your Obsidian launcher is installed and all the install files are. Just move your LSU converter over here. Now, once the LSU converter is here with your other install files, it will run perfectly fine. Here you are. This is the LSU converter. You can use it to convert your WAV files to LSU format, just as it says here. So again, if you get that run time 53 error, just move the LSU converter over to the folder where the Obsidian launcher files are, and you have much more success running it this way. Now, that about does it. Uh, if you followed all of those steps, you would have successfully installed the Obsidian Launcher. Click it here, run it. It's just gonna tell me that I don't have a lightsaber installed, which I don't, so here you are. The LSU the Obsidian Launcher has been successfully installed. Our LSU converter is working. We're good to go. In my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to download sound fonts onto your lightsaber using the Obsidian Launcher. Thanks for watching.